Hey, how's it going, Sheila? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, in this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly where your website is online, um, show you how much traffic and business your competitors are getting. I'm going to reverse engineer everything they're doing online and show you exactly what it's going to take to dominate the space online when someone's looking for a uh, prescription coupon. All right. Um, so as you can see, we're on my business page. My company's AMP Local. We're an internet marketing agency. Um, we do nationwide SEO and local SEO, um, as well as sales and advertising. So we are kind of like an all-in-one internet marketing service. Um, so again, thank you for contacting us to get this going for you. So you may visit the site for more information. Um, so I just want to jump right into the video. So as you may already know, uh, over 90% of the population when they need a product or service they're going to use Google it's the most powerful popular way to get information from the internet all right and 96% of them are going to click from the very first page of Google all right um, and just to give you an idea so if you're ranked number one you get nearly 35% of the total clicks um, which is huge all right so if you were actually going for like a local um, listing like for San Diego for instance um, this is kind of split up times two so you know about 30 to 35 percent of people click on number one for maps and then number one organic so you can corner 70 percent of the search um, but I mean if you're going national um, and we're going to be just targeting these specific keywords um, still you know this is ten, we're talking about tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of searches a month I'm going to show you here in a minute of how many times people are looking so if you're cornering 30 percent of uh which is actually about a million i'm going to show you that in a second i mean that's literally 300,000 know, potential uh clients that you're going to be getting that's going to be using your coupon every month all right so that's huge really huge so um just before i jump into you know what it's going to take i do want to give you you know like i said earlier some background on you right now and a little background on your competitors so and how do you know how does a consumer find what you're offering so you offer as you know this is your business um i'm just kind of talking out loud here uh a essentially a, a discount card that um someone can take to a pharmacy a local pharmacist and get a coupon, all right, and then you get paid from that, um, like we discussed on the phone. So I read about the market and your business and what you're offering, um, and turns out uh, people are searching, you know, very common keywords uh, to find you. Um, so one, for instance, is pharmacy coupons, all right, um, and then another one is prescription coupons. Okay, very common keywords that people are using. Um, but to be honest, you know, I, you may, may already know, I couldn't find you on any of these searches. Your website's kind of like in obscurity. And I'm, I'm sure, obviously, that's something that you already know. You know, you reached out to me um, because you, you know you need SEO. And that's awesome that you can understand that right away. Um, so let me show you what the keywords look like. So pre for prescription coupons, now this is national. This is for the United States. Um, this one keyword gets searched 2400 times per month okay just the one keyword but every month at least it's like around a million searches or more 1.1 1.2 million searches per month someone is looking for a coupon uh, to they're looking for a discount for their medicine pretty much um, so as you can see you know Google gives you I'm able to find all of the keywords people are searching prescription discount card pharmacy discount card you know prescription coupons with the rx um, so there's so many keywords so many profitable keywords here that people are using in the thousands it's crazy um, so you know huge potential for your company here with seo if we're able to target these keywords and rank them on google i mean to get you up here would be uh, phenomenal so as of right now i can see for uh, rxfamilydiscount.com you are getting about um, 50 to 60 about 58 on average right now visitors per month which is not bad you're getting some traffic which is good um, so obviously you want to grow let me show you your top competitors so you shot me over some of your top competitors um, this guy seems to be the most dominant one 
um, and that's rxpharmacycoupons.com. So he is, let's see, these guys for pharmacy coupons, yep, they're at the top. They're number one right here. So this is how much traffic they're getting. Look at that, 70,000 or more per month. I mean, that's literally a uh, thousand times what you're doing right now or more. Um, so that's the goal. That's that's the goal to get you at the top of these searches and not just this one keyword, um, but all, you know, as many as these keywords as we possibly can. Okay. Um, so we're able to actually find out where a lot of their business comes from too. Like, for example, in this search, uh, not only that do people search for, um, you know, pres uh, prescription coupons or pharmacy coupons, they're actually looking up the actual medication. So Cialis coupon. And I'm sure you already know that because I saw on your website and your competitors, um, you guys do list, uh, you know, like you have Adderall, all these different medication coupons, which is great. You, you're you going to want to do that. Um but I'm going to show you why you're lacking in the rankings right now compared to your competitors, all right? Because um, those are pulling, you know, people are searching that too. But as you can see, like I showed you a million times per month, someone's using just prescription discount coupon or drug coupon or something of that nature. So those are hugely popular and uh, profitable keywords. Um, so how do we do it? How are we going to get you there, all right? So Google has an algorithm. It has 200 determining factors, okay? a lot. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, but there's four of the most, the four of the most important ones that you can nail. And if you nail these, everything else kind of falls into place. All right. Um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is your actual website, the physical mobility of your website. All right. So 60 to 80% of people, when they're looking for a product or service, they're actually going to use their iPhone or their Android. Okay. Or their mobile device. So your website has to be mobile friendly okay so when someone's looking at your website from their phone it has to convert um, everything has to be easy to read and easy to see so for your website I did a scan with my mobile friendly test um, and it's not it is not mobile friendly um, you know content wider than screen links too close together so there's a lot of different things that's wrong with the site um, you know and just looking at it first person first perspective right when I hit the site you know I could tell that um, just it's kind of outdated in the design it's not a bad looking site you know I mean uh, but it's not mobile friendly and people that are using their phone or you you literally have three seconds to attract a customer before you lose them when they hit your website and if it's not mobile friendly and it's hard to read, they're going to click off and just go to the next web page. And I'm sure you can contest to this. I mean, let's be honest. Um, you know, if you get to a site and it takes forever to load or if, you know, think you can't read it, you're going to want to click off it right away. Um, so with mobile friendliness also comes load time. So if it's not mobile friendly, it's not pulling up as quick as you would like it to on a phone. Um, so the first thing I recommend that we do if we're going to do SEO is actually do a web redesign. Okay. We do mobile friendly, Google friendly sites all the time that are going to be custom and relevant, um, to your business. Um, it's not, uh, you know, honestly, I, I would just do it. You know, I mean, uh, it's not a, it's not a complete killer. You know, we have done SEO for sites in the past, but, uh, Google actually just released a uh, new algorithm update that really really affected um, you know companies that were not mobile friendly um, so it is highly recommended that that's the first step that you take if you do have a website and it's not mobile friendly if it's one of the older uh, software programs out there but um, ours is definitely good to go so uh, that would definitely be something to look into very first thing so Next thing I want to talk to you about is content, all right? So authoritative content. Whenever a customer hits your page, the first thing that they need to see is something that's eye-catching and educational. Um, and Google wants to know that you're educating and informing the customer. So what that means is, are you mentioning all of these keywords, okay? All of these keywords here need to be mentioned in some way shape or form on the home page because that's where google that's the first your home page is the first site that the customer sees and it's the first site that google sees when it's uh searching scanning the internet for the most relevant websites okay so you have to be mentioning relative uh keywords 
um, related to your services on the home page okay now um, and you want to have at least I would say for your niche and uh, just to your competitors to, to really dominate I would say at least 1500 to 2000 words of or, you know authoritative content right now you have some content built up um, if I were to guess it's probably around uh, you know 500 to 600 words which is not too bad but we definitely want to double that at least um, and build more of the keywords in there you know I see you mentioned pharmacy discount card and prescription discount drug card these are pretty long tail keywords um, we want to get more specific and, and get more of the one and two you know keyword hits you know that, that are on this list that are getting searched thousands of times per month um, so that's going to be the second thing you know and we we are phenomenal copywriters and able to create you know unique attractive content that people are going to want to read and uh, come into your business um, just a couple other side notes on the algorithm this is not uh, any of the four that I talk, I said I was going to talk about but it's definitely important um, the first thing that you also want to have is you know if you have a special offer click here for your card um, or you know save save up to 50 percent on your prescription here you know or something just some kind of special offer as soon as they hit the page it's right here bam they're able to click on it it's numbers it looks good um, or a phone number that's clickable that they can call I know that you just want them to download a card and that's fine um, but that's just another thing so I'm also recommending you know if, if it is the card that you want them to go to I would recommend you have it at the top of the page you know and make it very flashy and attractive um, but that but that again is something that we're definitely can um, offer for you and, and bill for you um, it's it's called call to action you know so as soon as you like I said you have three seconds you know so if, if it takes longer than three seconds you that's just decreasing your chance of closing that lead um, so you definitely want to make it very quick call to action you want them to get to your discount card very very quick all right have it actually on the site or, or something we, we can get very creative with what we can do here um, so that'll be all part of the that's really all a part of the web design all right um, so the second the third thing I talked to you about authoritative content real quick before I move on for that I want to show you what that looks like so I went to Google I typed in just the word elephant okay look what's number one Wikipedia Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one because of their authoritative content mainly that all right look at this page endless amounts of information about elephants their habitat their evolution what they eat where they sleep um, and you know whatever else so this is probably 50,000 words you know who knows um, but definitely like I said you know double the content you have now at least 1500 to 2000 words um, that we're, that we're going to want to build out for you okay so I just want to give you an idea next third thing okay so citations all right citations are very very important okay so you're going national okay these these would be um, play a little bit bigger role if you were uh, going to be showing that you're a local business in Google um, those would be local citations these citations are still important because you still want to get listed and get your name out on the market right so when you do them some examples obviously uh, is Google Yahoo Facebook being yellow pages and white pages okay that's just a few examples LinkedIn is another one okay so it's anywhere you can list your business online um, and each niche market has a specific set of citations that are the most popular for those that Google's going to recognize. So if you're in this service or niche, and if you're listening to all these citations, it's going to look a lot better for you for the rankings. Okay. Um, so for you, for what you offer with uh, discount pharmacy coupons, I found that after looking at all of this, I mean this whole page, um, Whitespark.com, it, it's a tool that I use uh, to look at all the best citations. Um, so for you in the United States, there's a whole list, all right, of services. Um, but for you, medical services, it seems is the most. Uh, let me go back up. Sorry. So for you, um, being in the medical uh, pharmaceutical discount realm, medical services is going to be the best because if somebody is, there's no specific type of like, 
you know, coupon uh, citation. But if somebody is in, uh, you know, aging in place or, you know, had surgery or need medical assistance or um, any, you know, anything of that nature, they're going to be on meds, you know, most likely, and they're going to need medications. So to be listed in all of these citations for medical services, it's going to give you a pretty big bang um, for your reputation online. So uh, this tool here gives you, you know, the best uh, citations to be listed in and what we're going to do is get you listed in these immediately. Um, there are thousands of them online. Um, the goal is to get you listed in these immediately and to keep actually adding more and more over time because it's just going to broaden your scope. Okay, um, So that's citations. Now I'm, I'm usually able to pull up a scan and show you your errors um, but that requires business name, address, and phone number and for your business all I could find literally is just the name of the business and the website um, I was not able to locate phone number and address which makes sense you're not trying to attract anyone to a brick and mortar um, you know you're trying to market your service online uh, so that can make complete sense so um, but if I were to guess looking at your rankings you probably don't have too many citations listed you might have a Facebook or um, you know, uh, maybe another type of maybe LinkedIn or, or something of that nature. I don't know. I'm not sure, um, but you probably aren't in these. So we got it. We're going to get you these and hundreds or more over time. That's going to get you ranked up. All right. The fourth and final thing. Now this is the granddaddy of everything that I've I've talked to you about. Um, this is called influence pages. Okay, or backlinks. This will, this is significantly is what's most important about ranking on Google and, or, or organically. And now that you're going nationwide, you're going to want many and many, tons and tons of these um, backlinks, um, and you want them very high quality, okay? So for your business, uh, prescriptionfamilydiscount.com, right now, this, these numbers are saying that you have two referring domains. So there's two websites on the internet right now uh, mentioning you 46 times total. So that could be maybe a Facebook ad or maybe a Facebook post or social media post or um, or another article from a blog or a website. Okay, But this is what Google really wants to see is this referring domains. How many websites are talking about you online? Because SEO truly is what you say about your business online and what everybody else says about it. That's pretty much what's going on. All right. Um, you know, and Google's a huge popularity contest. It's like running for president, too. You know, the more votes you have, the more likely you're going to win. So these influence pages are your votes. These are your votes. All right. So you have two referring domains that are at a trust load of 26. Now, 26 is actually good. Let me show you. Um, so this is the trust flow meter. Okay, so it shows you the quality. So if you were at 15, you'll be medium quality, but you are at 26, which is actually up here, so it's super high quality. So that's a great start. Um, so the only thing that's holding you back right now is the fact that you only have two of them. That's the bad thing. Um, so what's great about our company is that we have unlimited amounts of backlinks to uh, and referring domains to link your website to. So over time, you're going to have hundreds of these things. Um, but we only want to link you know, a certain amount, um, I would say at least uh, one per week. Two is really pushing it. You don't want to do too much um, to your website because Google may think you know, some, something's going on pretty much. Um, so I'll have to log in. But that's where you're at right now with that. Let me show you your top competitor. So this is prescription pharmacy coupons. Let me show you what they're um, what they're looking like right now. So these guys, all right, they have a trust low of six, which is significantly lower, right? That's low quality. But look at how many referring domains they have. Six hundred and eighty-three. That's a lot. Okay, and 4,000 backlinks. So it's going to take some time to get up there, but to your advantage, you already have high quality right off the bat. So after we 
um, get you a mobile friendly site, add the keyword research on the home page so Google can first recognize that you offer that and the people that are searching for those keywords, you know, Google can say, okay, uh, prescription family is mentioning that on their home page and in their page title. So maybe I should look at them a little bit more. Oh, and they're Google, they're mobile friendly. Okay, so they're this customer is looking from their iPhone, so that's going to be good. And then they're going to say, oh, he's got you know they have high quality links linking to the website. And Google's going to be like, wow, this this looks like a really important site. Maybe I should show them a little bit more than these other guys. Okay, so that's that's kind of like what what is going on in, in Google's eyes. But right now, this is what's this is what they're beating you at is these links, um, you know, as well as everything else, of course. But uh, these the 683 is it. So over time, you know, we can get you up there in in the first page, um, but to get in the top number one position, I would say probably um, anywhere between 30 to 50 links, um, keeping the same high quality or more. All of our links are 25 and 30 plus. So they're very, very high quality. Um, and on top of that, we do we do do guest posting and blog posting from high quality, um, high authoritative uh, sites as well. So that's going to really boost you up too. Um, so that's that's another part of our SEO practices that we do. So that's that's pretty much the plan, you know, um, getting getting the black, uh, backlinks. So. Um, I really hope all this made sense for you. Um, I do want to answer some more of your questions. I saw that you had some specific questions. I know I didn't go everything. Let me just check real quick. All right, I just pulled up this, um, your questions here, and I just want to answer them here on the spot, and then we can we can talk about them. So how long does it take to rank to the first page? Um, honestly, for, for the first page of Google, um, anywhere between 30 and 90 days. Um, as soon as we start linking your website to these high quality domains, add in the citations, if we get the site up and it's mobile friendly and it's indexed, it usually takes Google a solid four weeks to recognize your site. So as soon as it recognizes it and all the pages and all the work index, you know, um, the 30 to 90 day mark is really where you start to see a lot of action and a dramatic improvement in your rankings. Um, so that that's my answer on that. And fully to fully dominate, I would say the five to six week, uh, sorry, the five to six month mark is usually when you're really dominating. You're in, up there in the top three. Um, how do you increase traffic and conversion rate? So increasing traffic um, essentially is you know getting on the first page of Google where 96 percent of the people are clicking from. Um, conversion rate, you know, when they hit your site, the call to action, you know, you want them to download your coupon or take a picture of it immediately. So you want it to be easily accessible as soon as they hit your website, right? I, I mentioned that earlier. Um, off-page optimization strategies um, you would use. So like I mentioned, the off-page would be the citations and the um, and the backlinks, of course, and the, the blog, blogging as well, um, and guest posting from other blogs, high authoritative uh, blogs that are on the internet. Um, we would also use uh, Pinterest and Facebook. Those are great uh, too. Um, and YouTube. Actually YouTube and uh, Pinterest are very, very SEO friendly. Um, we're able to, you know, if we created you a business account, um, we would able to upload pictures and uh, pull links from high authoritative sites and pin them and then they ask for a description and we're able to put keyword research in there. So when we put the description of the links, um, and I really should show you this in a video, uh, maybe I'll make a separate video in the future, um, you know, just for prospecting for our clients. Um, but in the Pinterest, you're able to put keyword research and you can actually search them and find them on Google. Uh, for video marketing for YouTube, we actually do that for our company as well um, because YouTube is owned by Google so it's very mobile it's very uh, SEO friendly so you're able to launch a, uh, a video um, in Google in uh, YouTube and then have it show on Google okay I just paused the video um, I wanted to show you real quick what I was talking about the video marketing so um, you know for we do this for our clients too but I just want to show you so for SEO agency La Jolla California um, you know, and it doesn't have to be local, it can be nationwide as well. Um, you know, so these videos right here, these videos I actually own and did myself. Um, and it were uh, videos similar to the video that you're watching, 
um, but for those companies. Um, and we ranked them um, on uh, the first page of Google here. You know, and as you can see in La like La Jolla, I mean, this is my website right here. So anyone looking for SEO agency in La Jolla, um, they see my website right here. You know, but we service San Diego and all you know the the country. Um, but for our local um, to show, to really dominate and pull like like a lot of leads from locally in San Diego, we have done a lot of local SEO um, because it's easy. It's a part of it, you know, and we do it. Um, so that's just to give you an idea. That's the video marketing that we do. We're able to throw videos up in Google uh, in sorry, in YouTube and rank them on the first page of Google. Um, so that's what I was talking about with that. So uh, let me get back to your questions here. So let's see. What's your suggested fee wage? range uh, provide a quote okay so our SEO services um, generally we don't open up a new account f unless it's for uh, at least 1k a month um, so our clients usually have at least 1k a month to start with um, but for startups uh, and you know locals um, we have done less than that so our lowest uh, that we would go is 750 per month um, and it includes the Google Analytics, it includes the citations and, and the link building and the blog posting and all that stuff. Um, so if that's more of uh, reasonably in your budget, you know, we, we can talk about that. Um, and But kind of like the value that I'm showing you here in, in the video, you know, and I'm not 100% sure how much you make off these coupons, but I'm definitely sure that um, it's enough to invest into the SEO and you know because if you can go from 50 clients a month or maybe you're at 50 to 100 let's just say 100 clients per month to 70,000 um, I'm pretty sure that we have really boomed your business for you so um, typically we start out you know for the first few months around you know the, the 750 800 to a thousand range um, but then as we start ranking the keywords on first page of Google um, you know we usually tend to see you know and our clients are like usually you know oh man you're doing so great for us you know here's an extra 100 200 bucks a month um, but our overhead goes up as well because the more links that we put out there the, that's more that we have to manage and more hours and more labor um, and then of course the hosting um, of the domains that we're putting out there as well. So to answer your question, that's about the price that we're going to be looking at per month. Um, so let's see, determine sites for backlinking. Um, it's really all about trust flow, you know, authority, uh, how, how quality, how high quality are they? Okay. Um, and I kind of talked to you about that already. So how do you increase Facebook, uh, likes and Pinterest followers? Um, so it's really going to be through the SEO, you know, Facebook um, has an algorithm. So um, just to, something unique that we're doing with Facebook um, that nobody really is. It's Facebook has an algorithm called the edge rank system. Um, so I actually have a network of Internet marketers across the world. Um, it's actually about 16 of us. And what we have, uh, you know, different groups set up. So whenever we want to edge rank something, it's all about, you know, if you post something on Facebook um, and someone likes it, you know, that means, uh, you know, someone else, is Google, Facebook is going to show it to some other people and see if they like it. And if they like it, it's going to show it to even more people. And if they like it, it's just going to blow up and go viral. That's how things go viral with Facebook edge ranking. So we have small groups of uh, 30 to 50 people in Facebook of internet marketers and we'll uh, push out a, you know, a post, a copy of post and we'll tell them, hey, go like and comment. So all these 50 people go like and comment and it's gonna want it to, sh it's gonna want to show it multiple times to uh, people on internet that, on Facebook that don't even want to see it, but they'll see it um, and they may like it. You know, so that's going to bring you more and more likes to your business. So we do do that. And then the Pinterest, um, it's SEO. Uh, you know, so when we post links or post pictures on Pinterest, we're actually able to build out great SEO and mention keywords and actually put cities or services and, and stuff like that. Um, both Facebook and Pinterest have advertising platforms, which are great. I love Facebook advertising. You can reach thousands and thousands of people just for you know a few hundred bucks a month um so it's a it's a great option uh to to get people to your site and we're able actually on facebook we're able to um 
target uh, specific audiences. So say if someone was looking, you know, like if they were, uh, if you wanted to target a demographic that was 60 years and older that were on Medicaid and, you know, took pain medication or had arthritis, you can actually do all this stuff on Facebook. People don't really know that, but it's called the Power Editor Tool. Um, and I really should um, show you, uh, I think after this video, if you like, uh, you know, I can make another video and show you how we make those campaigns. That's getting real technical, but I'm all about transparency. So um, we can look into that. But this video is really giving you a lot to answer your questions so far, I think. Um, but again, it, please bring up your uh, questions. Uh, last question, what's your white hat techniques? Everything I just showed you. Everything I just showed you is white hat. Um, I'll give you an example of black hat techniques. Um, linking your website to uh, 20,000 websites that have a trust flow of zero. That would be a black hat technique. Now that would give you, um, that would give, you know, a number of 20,000. You can do this in a day too. 20,000 here, but the trust flow will be like zero or one. That's, obvi that's obviously a black hat technique. Um, now it's going to give you a very, very quick, powerful boost, you know, maybe up to number two, but it's only going to last like two or three days because Google's going to be able to see it um, and, and knock it down and actually penalize and actually they could actually take your website down for doing stuff like that. Um, you he did hear me mention earlier, you know, that we link your site, you know, at least, you know, we can do four or five links per month that are super high quality 25 and 30 and this is very um, more realistic um, because if you're getting you know 50 100 likes per week you know that that looks that looks a little fishy you know unless you're like MTV or um, Yelp or something you know like those types of companies are you know are getting tons of attention and traffic so they're gonna have a lot more but for uh, a business like yours that went from 50 consumers and then it goes to 5 million consumers in a day or a week, that's going to look a little fishy. You kind of get where I'm going with that? All right, so I hope that makes sense. That's that's kind of like uh, how that's going to look. So, all right, Sheila, it looks like that answers. I answered all your questions on here. Um, if you need for anything else further from me, please let me know. Um, I want to get give you as much information as you possibly can you know we talked about the quote um, how much it's going to cost um, I showed you the amount of value that we can bring um, with our SEO strategies um, so again I appreciate the time you know you, you took to watch this uh, please reach back out to me um, so we can take the ne next steps um, you know and we're really all about I, I love my business and I love what I do because it gives me huge gratification to be able to help businesses grow. Um, there's nothing else like it. And, you know, if it wasn't for Google and the internet marketing, you know, I would be out of business. It's my livelihood. So um, I love what I do and I really appreciate, you know, customers like you that actually reach out and want to learn more. Um, so I love teaching SEO and I love teaching my clients. So I appreciate that, uh, that you made it through this video. I'm looking at this ticker and it's about to hit 30 minutes. So this may be the longest video I ever shot, but um, it's worth it. You're worth it. Um, I appreciate your time and I'll be hearing from your, you very soon. Thank you.